My name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant. And today we're going to talk about how to make Palo Azul tea. Palo Azul, simply translated in Span from Spanish into English, means blue stick. And this tea comes from a flowering shrub in Mexico and has been a tea in Mexico for centuries. But currently it has made its way into the modern world because of its medicinal uses and purposes. Before you use this tea to treat or for any condition for that matter, make sure that you consult with your physician or your healthcare provider. Now we're gonna show you how to make this today. Let's get started. First, you're gonna take your Palo Azul tea bag and you're gonna open it up and put it in your teacup. After that, you're gonna take your tea kettle and then you're gonna place your tea kettle underneath your faucet, fill it up with cold water and then place that water on the stove. Once you have it on the stove, you're gonna turn your stove on high and give some time for the water to heat up until it comes to a complete boil. Next, we're gonna take our tea bag. We're going to open it up, pull it out of that bag there, and we're gonna place it into our eight ounce serving cup. Now you could use a serving cup up to 12 ounces, but nothing more than that. We're then gonna take our boiling water and pour it directly over top of the tea bag, fully submersing it into the hot water. Once you've got that done, you're gonna take your tea bag and you're gonna bob it up and down a few times. And what this does is it allows the hot water to flow through the tea bag into the tea and allowing it to diffuse into the hot water. Now you wanna leave yourself some room up here at the top because this is boiling water and you don't want to burn yourself. And if you're gonna add any cream or sugar afterwards, you're gonna to wanna to leave yourself some room anyway. So we're just gonna let that sit in there, also called steeping, for a few minutes. After leaving the Palo Azul tea bag in the hot water for about two to four minutes, you're then gonna wanna remove it from your teacup by using a spoon, placing some pressure on the tea bag to get rid of any excess liquid that's left in there, and then discarding of that tea bag. Now, this tea typically is very subtle and floral, so it already has sort of a sweetness to it, but if you wanna bring that sweetness out, you can add some sugar or honey to it as well. Again, my name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant. And today we learned about how to make Palo Azul tea. Enjoy.